What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done, a huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Quiet on set. <laughs> okay. Uh, Austin's going to AD this episode as well. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. I'm like, how many more days? Can we speed this up? <laughs> Are you good with Grace? <laughs> We're going to have Grace lunch? Yeah, okay. I don't know what it means, but yes, I'm good with it. What does Grace mean? Uh, it means like you aren't hitting the six hour mark and you're going to go a little over. So, oh, excuse me. so you have to get a verbal confirmation from all the IOTC people. I see. You get yeah, 10 minutes grace, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, where you don't have to pay a meal penalty for, yes. for working on How did you learn AD stuff? Just being thrown into it. Yeah. I'm not very good at it. I don't like it. I am, I mean, but just being thrown in. I was. I worked on... Um... <laughs> so my friend got this movie. for. It was this Judy Greer movie that filmed like two years ago. And they fired the whole AD team. And my friend is like a legit AD. Like they do it for real. And they were like, I need a second. And I've only like seconded like one short film. And I was like, R- really? Like on a legit, you know, multi million dollar movie? And right. and she's like, yeah, it'll be, you'll be fine. It'll be so easy. And I was like, I've never been more stressed and scared in my life. Huh. Was it hard? It was so hard. I mean, and everybody yells at you and it's like, it's just so scary. And Oof. I didn't sleep for. It was only two weeks because we just finished the project, but it was the longest two weeks of my life. Oh my Did you God. already know all the words, like Grace and? No, no, no. <laughs> no she, she, she was like, "Can you ask for Grace?" And instead of just asking, like in the intercom where everybody you started is like, praying. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I went up to everybody individually. I go. Are you okay if we have? And by the time Aww. I did that, it was already like. <laughs> right. You're just supposed to shout it, and everyone goes, "Uh huh." Yeah. Uh huh. Right. And instead, I, I, I waited for each take to end, and then I would go up to. A grip, and I'd be like, "Are you? We're gonna go a little over. Are you okay with this?" Like it's been over for twenty minutes. Yes. Yeah, it's hard. It's a hard one. Your job doing well is the base expectation. You don't get rewarded for doing it well. Yeah, you only get yelled at for making mistakes. Correct. So you can never feel that good. No, and that's how film sets are. It's kind of like the military, where like you can only get yelled at. There's yeah. never any like mm-hmm. good job. Yes, it's like. Yeah. You're either you kept in trouble. Us on time and, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Even watching Band of Brothers, it's like whenever like a one of the, like the majors like likes a private, he's always like <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah. the tiniest move. Can't give him too much. No. Yeah. And I get it. You gotta keep those boys in there, you know? Yeah, you gotta keep them in line. Yes. You gotta keep those boys in there. <laughs> you, you don't want them in to the get game, their... in the... yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh well folks, we we went Marin style today. We just started recording mid conversation. <laughs> wow. It felt good. It, it felt, felt different. good. It felt natural. We've got our guests here today. Welcome to the Man Dog Pod. I'm Dan Lippert. I'm with Ryan Rosenberg, Hi. my co host. Hi. Hi. And our guest today, joining us for the first time of at least his life, maybe mine too, Whoa. Sam D. Hi, Sam. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How Excited would it be, be How would it be your his life? First time, but not in your. I don't know. Okay. I, we could break I down guess it little... is true still. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. the first time in his life, maybe yeah. the first time in my life. Yes. Yeah, and for the second time in all of our lives, maybe third, second, second, Austin Williams, and I'm introducing her while she takes a big sip. So I'll just keep going. That's a <laughs> mug from home. Brought her own mug. That's I nice. My own mug. Which she has roasted me for for doing. Mm. And Have now I? the shoes on the other foot. Yeah, when I coached. Oops. And then wow. Andre spilled my coffee, <laughs> yes, and I, I never did that. it again. <laughs> well, now is this mug uh, special, or was it just sort of in the in your hand? Um, it was just sort of in my hand. Yeah. Nashville. Nashville. Do you travel with a mug often? I do. I need to get one of those to-go mugs, but I just don't have one that fits into my cup holder. 
And so I pick, this doesn't fit my cup holder either. I hold <laughs> it like a mad woman while I'm driving. <laughs> How many spills have you had in your life? A, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, a you lot. Get the video. Austin's covered in hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like turning on to like at water being like. <laughs> yeah. Um, La Colombe off the river here. Yeah. I was just in there. I think that's the one. And they had a great one. Uh, steel one fits in your cup holder. Ooh. Two lids, sippy lid and straw lid, so you can switch them that's out. Important. And I was oh. really looking at that. But I don't like the taste of hot drink out of stainless steel. I don't either. Yeah. You know what I need just to fully get into this sippy slash whatever thing? I need the straw to go into the sippy lid. I don't like that it's because I uh -huh. have two of these water bottles that have this. And now I got four lids for two bottles. But I lost the lids that I actually <laughs> like. So now I'm stuck with straw only. It's a nightmare. A wall of my man. Yeah, I gotta mm. get one of those. Pop the top, straw is in here. Get the video, We've zoom in, or look up a wall. Times. We've never done this on here. <laughs> I think <laughs> no, this I is this is supposed to be like the new Stanley, right? Because Stanley's uh, kind of dead now. Is Stanley dead? Because Stanley, Stanley popped lead, off. Is what I heard. Oh yeah. no, lead paint or something. <gasps> So you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Stanley tumblers are filled with lead paint. Hopefully not first here. But <laughs> no. You did hear it here. Do you think people know where you live just based off of the hints that have been? I every once years? in a while I do wonder if you could piece that together. Okay, um, that's a scary, good but good question. Yeah, yeah uh, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've said at Water Village, and I've said like the places I go around right, here, so I'm right. sure they know the neighborhood. But okay. I don't think you could find my exact house okay everybody ready to bring you lovely gifts and you just asked them not to. i know They're just gonna drop off gifts you know during the pandemic there were this is not interesting for the podcast but there were a handful of people that would hit us up or big grande and be like hey i want to send you something mm -hmm. and we didn't have a p.o box so it was always like no thank you like i don't <laughs> so, uh there was a brief period where i like had people send stuff to ucb care of mm -hmm. whatever like someone sent us a skateboard that That's we still cool. have here, oh. but cool. I um I once bought merch from uh, Ronnie Chang, the comedian, mm -hmm. and it was just some socks with his face on it, and it shows up in my apartment, and it has like a return address on it. So I looked it up. It's the Daily Show offices. Oh wow! So he was running a sock business <laughs> out, of, <laughs> out of the Daily Show offices. Whoa! Yeah, he, he was probably doing the same thing as me, where he was just doing it from home, but using that as the return address, oh. just in case. Yeah. Okay. Is my I would guess. love to see a whole office at the Daily Show. <laughs> sock room. <laughs> what was so cool about the socks that you ordered them? It was just like his face on on them. I don't think I've ever worn them. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't see you as a face on a sock guy. No, I, I remember. I think I watched an interview with him, and he was like, "Every comic has like t shirt merch." You wanted to support the yeah, and I was like, "That's smart sock merch." Sock merch, but I never wore it. Do you still have them? Probably somewhere. Yeah, I have some interesting socks, and I really like them. But it is tough because it's such a choice. You're mm. gonna wear a crazy sock today. It's it's a conversation piece, and it's it's a little. Desperate, I feel like <laughs> that's yeah, right. Like, yeah, it's I like, please to talk to I me. briefly looked around just to make sure nobody's yeah. gonna get yeah, we're all, good. We're all white crew socks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a little desperate. Yeah. yeah, we're very muted in here today. Nobody <laughs> wanted to seem desperate outfit wise. No, 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 no. no. This this episode could be in black and white. In fact, we're thing. wearing the same thing. Yeah, we're in the exact That's same incredible. thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's Holy really shit. Close. I gotta put my. I should have put my black shirt on. Damn it. Dang. Um, very good. I have, and I am not proud of this, and I, I have not said this publicly. It's it's creepy. I have seen people on TikTok uh, that I find attractive and noticed that they live in LA, and I've gone through their TikTok to see if I can kind of pinpoint either where they live or where they work. Mm, little Whoa. Sleuth. Mostly, like, not to be like, I'm going to find you, but mostly like my own weird hunter gatherer mentality kicks in and it's like if i could find the answer i want to mm -hmm. so i have mm -hmm. done that it's as, easier to or, fantasize about them if you know that they're in distance of, you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah as the crow flies they're only a mile away. it's hard it's hard to fantasize about someone living in new york <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> i can't even imagine what their day is like yeah, yeah. i don't know any of these locations at it's all like, oh, i can wander around this neighborhood and run into them and yeah. then create that fantasy mm -hmm. yeah do you think that when you're in a certain neighborhood, like there are certain neighborhoods that I like have a connotation with certain people on and I was like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to run into them today. 
which is like, yeah, what are the odds? Zero, maybe. <laughs> but I'm like, well, we one time went to this restaurant. They're probably over here again, yes. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, but, I feel that way about a travel blogger right now oh. where Mike and I did this huge. We're going to Mexico next month and we did this huge like YouTube uh, search on um, on like which resort to go to. And we fell in love with this couple called Drunken Tourist. And he just refers to his wife as dt's wife (laughs) 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 so he's so we never hear their names he is just dt drunken tourist and then dt's wife and she's always in the videos but i'm i'm secret i'm hoping that they are at the resort that we go to yeah if they were what would you do or say i would probably ask for a photo yeah um with dt or dt's wife i want both. both i want both in it um and then maybe i should be like hey can she have a different name? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. If or I just to... a name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, why can't she also also be DT? Yeah, drunk tourista. Yeah, tourista. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Um, it bothers you, the wife part, that it's she's named by her relation to yes. him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you, uh, it, do they seem to have a sense of humor about, like, does she, or does it seem like no, it's they being are... done from a sort of closed-minded mindset i think they're just like an older generation okay yeah. from canada who just love a good martini mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i i have uh um i don't have it i started talking i was like this is not interesting so i'm mm. editing it i'm self-editing clipped clipped edited edited trenton 1020 cut it out cut out oh, everything i say f- are these Pitchers? Uh, pitchers full of water. Whoa. Isn't that Matching. Little... Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should get a super cut of people talking about these pitchers. I, this is now. exactly what I wanted when I bought these. Yes. <laughs> Everybody notices them. Yes. Really? People do? Yeah. Well, it is just, it's also funny that there's water inside the fish. It glugs when you pour it's it. It's the opposite of what it you makes think. noise? Yeah, yeah. They're usually in the water. <laughs> yes. I see. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, it's an glug- osmosis gluggers. fish. That's my usual follow-up. They're gluggers, and when you pour them, they go... Wow. So we'll get a glug on Mike today. Yeah. Okay. If you're yeah, thirsty enough, you'll get a glug. It, drinking right now. My whole thing whenever I buy anything is like the dream clothes, not these clothes, yeah, but yeah. like any sort of noticeable clothes or this, is everyone that comes over compliments it. Mm. Uh, so you're, But you're not a sock guy. But I'm not a sock guy. <laughs> I am desperate, though. Okay. You were right about that. I would be... I, I Part of the issue for me is probably just... Uh, laziness. I don't like having mismatched different socks. Mm. I just bought forty pairs of these socks, and they just, <laughs> I just have them there, and I just pick 40. them off. Yeah, that's a lot. It's incredible. Eighty, eighty socks. Eighty socks, 80 socks yeah, total. Good math. Good math. <laughs> Anytime we need a times two, we'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do any other multiplications. How many toes do I fit in those forty socks? Ooh. Twenty. <laughs> yes. Wait. Yes. How, what? What? <laughs> I was gonna say four hundred. It was saying four hundred, eight hundred, ten. It was. I told 10. you, I only multiply by two. Yeah, I don't do any simple. other math. Um, doubler. I mean, I could do some scenes. What do you? Yeah, feel? ready. What do Let's you feel like, into Ryan? I don't remember anything. I don't either. I forgot that we were supposed to be. Keeping some of the track. stuff we talked about was <laughs> sock. Uh, braggadocio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drunken couple. Drunken Drunk wife. DT and DT's wife. Um, the dumbbell stuff was pre-recording, right? Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk working out. Oh, yeah. Working out. We're all big gym rats. <laughs> Huge. And then- I want to go around and hear everyone's PRs in a second. Yes. Um, I, I, don't I don't have any have PRs because I don't do Let's anything. Let's change that. Yeah. Let's get you in there. I can't. Uh, I have my bad shoulders, so I can't lift anything of weight above my head. Oh, that's okay. Oh, yeah. You can do bench. You can deadlift. I you can bench. squat. Or my shoulders would pop out. The bar really? would fall right on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> my arms would fall off. Killing me. <laughs> I've tried it a hundred times. No, zero times? Oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone at the gym will turn and laugh. Um, yeah, that's the that's the thing. But no, I don't have any. What's your PR? Back squat, 170. Wow. Nice. Bench, 105. Serious? Serious. Serious. Deadlift, 200. Serious, just that you know the numbers. Yeah, I just sort of go and I'm like, okay. Last time I was here, I put the little clip on number seven. (laughs) 
<laughs> we'll try number eight today. You know, I'm just doing the machines. When when yes. a gym has like the machine and it's just numbers, I'm always like, what is the point of this? Yes. Because I can't, I, I can't be like, I lift a six. Yeah, you yes. got to have a little uh. ego to it. For me, I need a little ego to know the number and be like, I'm getting stronger by this rate or something like that. Yeah. Right. You're right. I don't like it as much. It's not motivating. PR? Uh, I don't squat or deadlift. I just bench and uh, 205. Wow, so twice Austin's That's almost. Big. Yeah. Al- almost. Which well, you could is do it, the math is it, can no. two, okay. two <laughs> times? 105 times two is 210. Really? All right, there. so let's get almost you up. There. Let's almost get you there. up five pounds. You should all. You should text each other. You should always be double Austin. So yes. if yours uh, goes up, you should have to go. And you should up start too. working out really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's really hard for Sam. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? It is the Sushi Guy, and I am back here again with Mrs. Sushi Guy, uh, and we are trying out the Costco salmon. So uh, this is Costco salmon. They freeze it right when they get it, so it is sushi grade. And uh, Mrs. Sushi Guy is going to bring it right up for me right now. Say hi, everybody. Hey, hi, everyone. Hey, don't forget to tell them we're doing soy and wasabi today. Mrs. Sushi Guy, thank you for the reminder. Soy and wasabi on the side with the salmon. Now, I prefer it just with the soy, but Mrs. Sushi, sushi, Mrs. sushi Guy likes it a little spicier. Let's make a change. Let's change it. You can't say the name. I do. All right, let me stop the recording. Yeah, we can edit this. Okay. Honey? Cut. We. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Uh... I'm paying an assistant director to be here. I know. know, I've I've got the whole team. I know. If we cut every time I make a mistake just because you want to change your name, it's good. We're going to be, we're burning daylight. We're burning sushi. We should have just figured this out before we shot our first episode. Why can't you say my name and why does it have to be something that you can't say? Why would you rather say Misha Sushi Guy than Darlene? I just don't get that. Okay. Well, I'm Sushi Guy. And it's funny you can say it when if it's I your get name. it's funny if I get mine right and yours wrong. I'm playing okay. on misogyny in the fish world. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess that is true. Uh, we could do, if you want to change it though. I don't want to argue in front of everybody. I'm not. We don't argue like this. Yeah, We're yeah, very no, collaborative. Yeah, yes, We're yes. very collaborative. No, let's just do it how we have it, and then we'll see how the first episode goes. Maybe there will be some comments or something, and they'll let us know whether or not they like it. Okay. Okay. Are we Love good, you, honey? Love you too, babe. Are we uh, yeah, good? Roll. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Let's roll camera. Roll sound. Right. All right. Uh, and you're doing both of those things. Yeah, right? but, yeah I, okay. I'm. I'm running you're around. Just letting us know. I've yes. never been on a set before. This is really okay. Cool. Quiet Thank on you. set. Um, okay. <laughs> I was. I, I was talking to you. I was settle. Like, hey. Okay. Let's all settle. <laughs> all right. Let's settle. Um, settle. Sushi guy and Mrs. Sushi guy's wife. Um. Uh. A take two. Mr. Mark. Sushi guy's wife. Quiet on set. And. Wow. <laughs> whenever Mr. Sushi guy is ready. Hey everybody, it is the Sushi Guy, and I am here today with a fresh cut frozen <laughs> Costco salmon. Uh, now this is uh, freeze dried right out of the cut, and so it is sushi grade, and I am here with Mrs. Sushi Guy. <laughs> Hi honey, thank you so much for that lovely intro. Quite on set, quite on set. <laughs> No, th- she can't talk. Cut. Can she we cut? Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, can I can I powder Mrs. Mr. Su- Mrs. Sushi? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mr. Su- Sushi. Off off camera, we can just call me Darlene if anybody wants. I don't feel to. comfortable with that. Okay. All right. It's well, a you- method makeup person. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you would like to. Everyone can call me Darlene, but I will answer to Mr. Mr. Mrs. Sushi guy. That's fine. All right. Last look, stepping in. Okay. I'm just well, gonna- no first looks. He hasn't touched my face with the makeup. You I'm are. Just- I've never been on a set before, but it seems like you are into the professionalism over the actual flow of the shoot. <laughs> Feels like you really want to be heard saying terms. I know all these words, and I just want everyone here who's paying my bills to also know that I do know these words. And You're we... doing great. I'm sorry. I, I, I uh, just trying to think of a not. I know that I am feeling a little in my head right now, mm. being witnessed by everybody, looking like I'm a misogynist or something because no. of the Mrs. Sushi guy thing. I'm sorry. I was just. I want to get this as right as you do, and I just. I, I'm sorry. I'll drop it, and it, I think it, we're okay. It's got nothing to do with naming her after me 
it is because it is hard for me to say, and I think that will get engagement in the comments when I make mistakes. I think that would be funny too. I'm, actually, love- I'm actually looking at the comments right now, and <laughs> some of the fans seem to really be enjoying the misogyny. <laughs> that's wow. YouTube, and that's YouTube, and that bums me. It's out. all about finding your micro niche. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to. Enca- I don't want to encourage that. If it happens, it happens. Honey, but that's if not it's it. our micro niche, it's our micro niche, <laughs> and then eventually we turn it into a macro niche. And we'll get more of the normal people. The bitch is okay with it. Let's do it. <laughs> should I say something? I feel like I should say something. You're looking at me? <laughs> I think so. I think so. My eyes are as wide as they've ever been. I think you should maybe say something. Hey, hey, excuse hey. me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I think my <laughs> wife would prefer mm. Who? if you, Who? Mrs. Mr. Sushi Guy's wife, <laughs> This is Sushi Guy. Oh. Would prefer that you not refer to her <laughs> in such a derogatory manner. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Just like we worked on. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank I, you. I am so sorry. I, I just, it slipped out. <laughs> it's just. I think we can all tell how huge this channel is going to become. <laughs> And I think we're all a little stressed out because this is the beginning and we got our pre-comments, but we got to get this first video off the ground. Okay. Makeup guy raised his eyes at (laughs) pre-com. Sorry, I thought I I had to clean something up. No, no I thought I had to redo. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, All right. So if we're all ready, uh, let's- And this isn't too much makeup. (laughs) Um, Can we get lipstick on there? Sure, yeah. yeah okay, you. flying in lipstick Same on the too. pig. Lipstick coming in. Now, are these AD terms or are they <laughs> insults? Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Makeup. Whoa, hang on. Uh, uh, are these AD <laughs> terms or are these insults? Because my wife would prefer not to be insulted. No, these are all AD terms. I want you guys to know that I know what I'm doing here. All right. So let's lipstick get... on a pig is a term they use for everyone, so I'm okay with that. All right. Okay, okay great. The pig has been made up. Okay. Great. It's... <laughs> okay. All right. We okay. got <laughs> Mr. Since Sushi. Since it's the term. <laughs> okay. Roll camera, roll sound. <laughs> And remember, honey, remember, fresh and frozen are opposite. So don't keep saying fresh, frozen. They're frozen fresh. 100%. Okay. 100%. I love you so much. Okay, quiet on set. Have, Here we go. And have billions of views. <laughs> love you, honey. Love you too. And Mr. Sushi, Sushi Costco Day, take two. Mark. Hey. Um. <clears throat> hey, everybody. It is Mr. Sushi Guy, and I am here with... Today's fresh cut of frozen salmon from Costco. Um, And uh, it's obviously you caught fresh and frozen right away. And that is why we are able to eat it. Uh, It is sushi grade. I'm here with the pig. Uh, (laughs) Sorry. With Mrs. Sushi Guy. Uh, And um, she has got some wasabi and soy sauce. Yes, that's right. Just a simple wasabi and soy today. Now, a lot of people say you shouldn't mix them, that the for the wasabi comes after the soy, but I go a little crazy, and I put a little soy wasabi together. I like a spicy soy. That's right. Obviously not crazy. I'm not, I didn't make her say she's crazy. I'm not saying women are hysterical. <laughs> she just does that. That's fine. And if you have a problem in the comments, we don't want your views here. Uh, she's not crazy. Thank you, Mr. Sushi Guy. Let's get into the fish. Okay. Uh, it is uh, pretty warm. Uh, we should have shot three hours ago. <laughs> we're still going to try it. You just want it to make sure. We're in our beautiful too. backyard studio. The sun is blazing. Yes. And we'll see how the fish goes down. A lot of people say you want it on an ice block or something really cold. But, you know, it's a summer. It's like a ceviche without the acid. That's right. It's a non-acidic ceviche we've got today, which is just warm salmon. Uh, okay, and hold. It's I'm so sorry. Hold, hold. I Your microphone. I just have to adjust it. Is that okay? Oh, yes. If I sorry. Up? Yeah. I'm just going to remove the batteries. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. What would that, what does that do? I just, I, we won't hear you as well. And I think that'll be good for the viewers. Okay. Well, I, if it's too loud on mic, I want to leave it to our AD sound person, camera person, uh, and crafty. But um, I think my wife. Clementines? Prefer... Anybody need a Clementine? Oh, I, I forgot what I was even talking about. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that wasn't peeled. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're fired. You're what? fired. That is so unprofessional. No. You're, that no. is so unprofessional. An unpeeled clementine. Post-COVID. You're firing the AD of that? <laughs> that is disgusting. It's abhorrent. It is vile behavior, and it doesn't belong in the year 2024, okay? Oh, how am I going to tell AD's wife? <laughs> um. Yeah, can I try one of the um the uh, the chicken apple sausages? Uh, yeah, of course. Would okay. you like that heated up? Uh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you can just do them cold too. You can do the sausages oh, cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, we, we do them cold uh, for you to take at home, or we can heat it up for you in the restaurant. Yeah, let me. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay, I'll try yeah, that. Great. I'll put that uh, in for you. I know what you're thinking. Yes, I'm Sushi Guy's wife, or I was. <laughs> we got divorced. We're oh in the middle God. of a divorce. I okay. I I didn't want to say anything, but I, I did recognize you. I appreciate it. I could tell the way you were looking at me. You're like, I don't know this woman's name, but I know who she is. So yes. I know the look. I know the look. Yeah. Yes. And and if you don't mind me asking, what what is your name actually? Darlene. Darlene. Yeah. It's it's. I, I thought we got it out there a few times, but I guess they must have edited it or something. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I look at your face and I just see you. You know, Mr. Sushi Guy's wife. Yeah, I know. I know. It was uh, it was tough, but you know, we had to end it. He was a bad guy. <laughs> Oh, he was a bad guy. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Mm. Yeah. So, excuse me, uh, samples? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sausage? Yeah. Okay. Would you like it cold or heated? Oh, oh yeah. Cold. Oh, cold? Thank okay, you. Great. There you go. You kind of rolled your eyes at hot. You don't. You like him, You really like him cold, huh? It's chicken apple, yeah. Wow. Okay. Beef you want hot, but chicken apple. Can I try one cold as well? To of see course. Yes, yes. Oh, Here's a, uh, a cold chicken apple. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Don't get caught in her web. She just walks around this Costco flirting with guys to make her hus- ex-husband je- jealous. Mm. Uh, y- y- you know who that is? I don't right. like it yeah, cold. Oh. <laughs> hmm. You well, like it this way? Huh? You like it this way? Yeah, yeah. Well, to each their own. This wasn't a flirtation. I'm moving on. Have a good day. <laughs> wasn't Be for me either, dude. sir. Trust Be me. Be careful. I wasn't flirting with you either. <laughs> oh, hats. <laughs> You've got uh, quite a reputation at this Costco. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, the videos went pretty viral, I guess. You know, so mm-hmm. it's tough. It's kind of tough walking into a situation. Everyone thinks they know you already. A lot of projection, you know. But of course, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, mm-hmm. y- you aren't allowed to walk around Costco in a bikini. I'm gonna need you to put on. What I bought this here. <laughs> Not today, but I, it's a Costco bikini. It says I and and we love your your um your support of Costco, but it will unfortunately have to remove you from the Costco location unless you put on a shirt, shoes, uh, and pants. I don't want to like pull this card, but you know I'm Mr. Sushi Guy's wife, right? We know who you are. Yes. Okay. And I don't know matter. your name, but I do know that you it's are Darlene. Everyone should know okay. that it's going to be Darlene. I'm officially getting it. Made official that my name is Darlene. Okay, yes, Darlene. I gotta go to the court. Well, look who decided to go on break. I saw you from the rotisserie chicken aisle. Uh, uh-huh. I, uh, I saw you ogling Mrs. Sushi Guy over there. And it's like, if we're gonna have a work relationship, you cannot, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I was just um, pouring from these uh fish pitchers glugger fish glugger fish we have these in stock now i know we do they but they were flying off the shelves don't change the subject I'm, okay I'm, okay if we're gonna have an at work relationship you can't be ogling every tom dick and jane that walks in in a bikini because they, they, it happens i'm sorry it, it was mrs mr sushi guy's wife okay I just, I, I know you have a wandering eye. We worked together for six years before you asked me out, and I saw you. You're the Lothario of the Costco samples. I'm, I'm and sorry. I am, maybe I'm just a little jealous that I finally caught the big fish, no glug intended. <laughs> but be careful. I'm watching you. Okay. okay. No, listen. It was it was purely innocent. I was just, it was a fan meeting a celebrity. Okay. Well, how would you feel if you looked over and I'm over there ogling um, the Colin Farrell? Well, that's different. That's well, different. What do you mean that's different? This is different. Why is that different? It's Colin Farrell. What's the difference between Colin Farrell and Darlene? Colin Farrell's like an A-list celebrity. Well, to you, she's... I, I don't want to argue, okay? okay? I just... I'm fired up, and I'm starting to wonder if we should even move in together. Sure. L- listen, like. it's, it's hot in here, okay? Can we turn down the oven a little bit? <laughs> no, I am making taquitos for myself. I- <laughs> The taquitos got all eaten from the sample station and get a try once. I, okay. I'm making myself a chicken taquito. Are these new? 
The chicken taquitos? Yes. We've had these for 25 years. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, we, your we, brain is so fucked up from fu- what all you have in your head is naked Mrs. Sushi guy, probably. You eating. Her you name's know, Darlene. Yeah, I bet you know her name. No, we, I do. I do. You're an animal. You know I, that? You're an animal. Hundreds of people come through the sample line, and one of them makes eyes at you, and you're ready to throw it all away with me. Hello? Hello? Is anybody working the hot dog window? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hey. I need 25 hot dogs with onions and relish. 25 hot dogs with onions and relish. Got yeah. it. Sorry. Are you guys okay? There's nobody at the window when I got here. It's uh, Sorry. It's just a little internal Costco dispute. Oh, we're, shoot. we're fine. That's okay. none of your business, actually. Okay. I didn't ask you why you're getting 25 hot dogs. No. You're right. But I should. You're right. I'd love for that to happen. It's very notable to me. I would love for that to happen. But I'm not I'd love going for anyone to. to take an interest. Okay, fine. I'm not going to. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Hello? Honey, where are you? We've. I... Sorry, your, your number didn't come up. <laughs> Are you calling? Where are you? Where are you? I'm at the Dodgers game. You you walked away 45 minutes to go to get some Dodgers dogs. I know. I went away to get good hot dogs. Like I said, all beef, big fatties. I don't want those little Dodger dogs. You know those are wieners, technically. Where are you? Costco outside. They are. They were busy when I got here. How's the game? Um, someone just hit their 500th home run. Someone. <laughs> I don't know his Barry name. Barry Bonds? <laughs> I think it must have been Barry Bonds. It was wild. They right. they threw out free hot dogs to everybody. How were they? Terrible? <laughs> were they terrible little dinky weenies? I thought it was pretty good, honey. I don't judge. You ju- ate one. What? You ate one. I did. Wow. You know I have a reputation to keep up, right? Excuse me? You're Mr. Hot Dogs. <laughs> Wife. Wife. Not Mr. Wiener's wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, guys like me shouldn't be this mad. (laughs) I apologize. (laughs) I'll be right back with 25 all beefs, okay? Okay. You just don't, don't worry. Okay, bye. And don't cry. No, it's okay. I'm okay. Okay, okay. (laughs) Okay, I'll talk to you How are we doing on those beefs? We're working on them. Seems like you guys went back into that little room. It's sorry. It's just... (sighs) We were having a little fight. Go ahead, tell him our whole life story. I, Maybe no, I wasn't. I wasn't. When, when you're no, I wasn't. I listen, know. this isn't a Mr. Sushi guy's wife again. Okay, it's not. I, a don't, mis- I don't know. You you give everybody all the attention they need because I'm a for good me. worker. Uh-huh. I see you guys are married. That must be really tough. No, we've been dating two weeks. It's a <laughs> work relationship. Oh, yeah. My, we haven't disclosed to mistake. HR yet. So please, if you can I'll keep, keep it, it, I'll keep it on the down low. I don't even know HR. Well, it's thirty-seven fifty, I believe, for twenty-five hot dogs. Okay, uh, you take a check. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Do you Save have the cash attitude? Or no, I have checks. <laughs> I cancel these all the time. <laughs> I cancel my checks. Stranger danger! <laughs> Stranger danger! <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I thought you were an adult. I thought you were an adult. Stranger danger! <laughs> here, here, here. 3750. Go ahead, here. Can you wrap these up really tight in foil, really tight? They're, I'm I'm traveling a bit. Oh, sorry, sir, no ins and outs. I saw you leave. No ins and outs. What do you mean, no ins and outs? <laughs> no ins and outs. This is Dodger Stadium, right? You got it, yeah. You're not lost. <laughs> okay. No ins and outs. Okay, so I am in the right place. Okay, then I'll just I'll hop into my seat. I'll go. Sorry about sorry, that. Sorry, no, we can't whoa, have that. Whoa, 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 whoa. 25 hot dogs, 37.50. That's 1.5 times 25 hot dogs. You you did the math in your head. Yeah. That's yeah. actually correct math. That's right. I just multiplied it by two and then cut it in half. Oh, my God. Are you okay? I didn't know you could do this. Yeah. I mean, that's... I mean, give me some more math. I can do whatever. I'm sorry. Do I... you guys have tickets to this game or... Uh, you, yeah, we heard you'd... there was a game, and we both got in a fight at work, and we thought this would be helpful. So, uh, um, but we're in the middle of something. Get, uh, you can help if you want. Give me any math. Uh, uh, Give me any wh- math. I uh, need to impress my boyfriend. What's the hypotenuse of a uh, of a line that's going up at? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know math. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a question. Damn it! I let think he was in. asking for like arithmetic. <laughs> let me get in here. Let me get in the fence. Anybody can ask me math, but please know math before you ask me. Like, know the question first. What, what, yeah, what's, what's, so we have to know math a little better than you to <laughs> even test you. 
Uh, or you can look it up, I guess. I don't know. Ring, 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 ring. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's probably my wife. She's probably starving. Hello? <laughs> Honey, I'm starving. I knew it. Baby, I'm right here. I'm right down. Can you look over the back? What? Careful, careful. What, where are you? Where? I'm I'm down at the gate oh, on the at the oh loge. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! 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 Oh fuck. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> she was full she was full of hot dogs! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh, this lady was oh, full of hot dogs. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Does anybody know CPR? I, you gotta let me in there. That was my wife. <laughs> that was my wife who just popped in there. All right, sir. Sir, yes, please, please go through. You gotta let me in. Sir, go, please go ahead. Please, please, oh, please. Honey. Honey. Well, sir, I, I can carry the hot dogs for you. You don't need to, you don't need to drag them, them over. I got them. You don't need to drag them over, sir. I do need to. Clearly, you were going to take one. Why is one in your hand single? <laughs> I'm just showing you that I can take them over. Just for because you. I'm bereaved immediately doesn't mean I don't want all the hot dogs. <laughs> I'm not taking your hot dogs. Or I, I, everybody handles grief differently. This baby, is baby. awful. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I asked you to look over the back of the stadium <laughs> to help me get in the stadium. All right, yeah, move through EMTs, EMTs. Oh, God. Uh, Can you save her? Save her. Save uh, her life. Charles, you got to do this one. I'm too hungry. <laughs> if I try to give her CPR with all those hot dogs in her, I'm just going to start okay, eating let me, let me your listen, stuff, right? Let me, let me listen for her breath. Okay. Oh, there's no glug. There's no glug. There's no glug. There's no glug. One of the things EMTs do is we push on the tummy, and if urine comes out with no glug, they're dead. And as you can see here clearly, urine is coming out, but I'm not hearing the glug. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have insisted on the right kind of hot dogs, of course, driving her to eat the wrong kind of hot dogs to prove a point. Sir, let me get those off your hands while you try to cry. Don't you fucking dare. I'm still going to eat these, or at least people that I deem worthy. I'm going back to my section. We're going to finish the game. No ins and outs. I'm so sorry. You cannot go back in there. What? No in but and outs. I'm in. Out. I'm in pretty much. <laughs> I'm pretty much in. You're going to pull me back out after I just... I want to call the parking lot oh. in. <laughs> How could this day get any worse? Well, First of all, I dropped a hot dog on the way to the car from Costco. There's only 30, there's 20, there's not enough hot dogs in here. I'm lost. Another home run for Barry Bonds. <laughs> That's 501. <laughs> God damn it, I'm missing the game of my life. And see, I don't know, where do we go after this? Austin Williams, what's your address? Where can people find you online? Is there anything you'd like to plug? Um, you can find me on Weston Aliens on Instagram. It's just Austin Williams, but the A and W are flipped. Super simple, uh, not we'll confusing at it. all. We'll link to it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can catch me playing improv at UCB Herald Night sometimes, and some other things coming along. Love Very it. nice plug there. <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, Austin and Sam both perform with Headbutt at UCB Monday nights. Uh, Sam, anything you'd like to plug? In? Um, yeah, you can catch me on Instagram at Sam L D I, and you can catch uh, Austin and I's next show on June seventeenth at eight thirty. Is this going to come out by then? Yeah, oh, yeah. well, it's coming out oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Whoa, June seventeenth. Come on down. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, <laughs> no. Mm. Thanks, both of you, for being here. That was such a blast. Yeah, uh, so fun, guys. Thank you. Ryan and I will be at the Elysian Theater with Man Dog Presents. It's a new uh, filmed show experience that our friend Jeff Whitaker is putting together. And so uh, eventually the show will be for sale. But if you want to see us live June 15th at 5 p.m., I 5 believe. 5 p.m., the Elysian. Uh, we'll be there with a fun crew. And uh, Will Hines put together a team as well that's going to be at that show. So join us there. Anything else we want to plug, Ryan Rosenberg? And that's a nice early comedy show, so it doesn't ruin your whole night. You'll be out by 6.30. And Incredible. Put the kids Fantastic. to bed. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, wake them up. <laughs> wake, wake up the kids again. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, thanks to everybody who's listening and supporting us. We really appreciate you keeping us going. And thanks to our editor, Trenton Oliver, and our logo maker, Annie Wu, and Casey Trela for our theme song. And uh, the gluggers for a nice glug to get us glug. out of here. 
Thanks, y'all. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done, a huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day.